So I'm Carlos, I work here in the BCBL. Uh, first, thanks uh, both Mateos for the, the nice talks. It was very clear, very nice. Uh, my humble contribution will be about uh, the sitting in vivo white mother uh, tracks uh, based on deterministic tra tractography. I will be using a region of interest approach, a manual region of interest approach. The, uh, it's, better, it's supposed to be better uh, for the pathological brain because it's account, it accounts better for inter-individual comparisons. And, well, basically it's more time consuming, that's the, the bad point. And you need a uh, uh, priori anatomical knowledge to perform it. So my goal was to provide a very, very, very basic uh, pipeline to start playing with tractography. You can uh, try at home. Uh, so from the raw data, you can transfer uh, your DICON files to Nifty. And if you use uh, MRI Grow of MRI Convert, you will get the VBOL and B vector uh, uh, text files that contains basically the gradient di directions and the, the B values that are the weighting, the diffusion weightings. And you can use Explore DTI that is open source to, to perform a basic preprocessing. You can correct for subject mo motion distortion and for geometrical distortion. And you can convert it in a MAT file that is compatible with a Star Trek that is a software the Loba Flavio del Agua that has a, a, a series of uh, deterministic uh, algorithms uh, based on a spherical deconvolution uh, that derives in a HMOA index that is especially indicated for resolving crossing fibers as uh, Matteo was explaining before. So basically using this software you can fine tune the algorithm uh, with uh, parameters. You can play a bit with uh, the length, with the threshold and all of that. And then you get a tractography file that is compatible with uh, TrackBees. You also will get the uh, CS, the converging speed uh, maps, the mean diffusivity and the fractional isopatropy in the maps that are in the series that Mateo explained before. So let's try to open TrackBees in, in the virtual machine. I hope it, wor it works well. Make sure you have this option tick. <coughs> Otherwise, you you won't be able to to run trackbees. Entonces ahora debería ir, ¿no? Ahí en eco. Sigue sin ir. Sí, eso supone que sí.
Sorry guys for the technical problems. So this is a software that is really uh, easy to use. Uh, it's called TrackBeast, in which basically you have three panels. Uh, one visualizer render uh, that is uh, the one in which you are seeing a sample of the tractography. As I said, uh, this is a deterministic uh, tractography, so it's a, it's a fi let's say a final estimation of the fiber direction based on a spherical deconvolution. Um, so you will see a sample uh, just to save uh, computational resources that is thresholded. And the first thing you can do here is delete it because it's, if not, it's, it's going to be slow. And then you, you can load, uh, giving click to this, you can load a map, a scalar map uh, that you choose. In this case, a uh, CSHMOA map that indicates uh, uh, the decay, the, the speed of the decay of the fitting error between the, the fiber model estimation and the diffusion tensor uh, within each voxel. So you, uh, in the bottom part, you have uh, 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 the images in which uh, you are going to work. And basically, it works like uh, drawing manually drawing region of, of interest. So the first thing you can do in this program is uh, just making a an sphere. And you can move it for each um, uh, axis and just explore what happened uh, when you put the sphere there in the render panel. So in this case, for instance, you, ha you have the, the sphere in the pons, so you can see the, the uh, corona radiata. And for instance, you put it here. Do you know what track is it? The Singulum bundle. So you can play a bit just with the ball to see what happened. Uh, then uh, this work with uh, arrays that were like uh, um, logical operators. So you basically tell the program, please uh, give me a track in this tractography that, that passed through here or through here, so you can provide with as many ROIs uh, as you want. And you can also create a not ROI, so it, it's like a constraint, so you, you can say the program, please uh, tell me, a, uh, give me a draft that pass through here and through here, but not through here. So, for instance, a way to, to do this, it would be like drawing this uh, small ROI uh, on the bottom of the corpus callosum and tell the program, give me everything that passed through here, and you will see something like that. You know what track this is? Sorry? You yeah. You got the furnace and um, part of other tracks. So what can you, you can do is creating a not ROI. For instance, if you, want, you don't want the, the fibers that go to the bottom of the brain, and tell the program, please, uh, 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 remove everything that passed through here. And you will get a cleaner, uh, let's say, Fornix. Um, yeah. So with this, you can go to the statistics slash. And then you have a, a histogram, basically, in which you can select the scalar, so the index that is based on the map you, you, have, choose, you have chosen. Um, and you can, uh, for instance, see for the mean uh, HMOA, that is the index of diffusivity I, I've chosen. And then you can export it in a TXT file for doing your statistics. Also, uh, you can create nice, nice uh, renders to, to create images. Uh, you can do it by, for instance, rendering it like a tube and giving it different colors, giving it, for instance, a scalar in which you can represent the, the index uh, with a color code. And, and yeah, just that. I've uploaded in the material um, a MNI normalized template that you can use. It's so fast to, to do it. The, 
This is the one I wanted to use, but the, the virtual machine is not working. So, so you can try first to do that there. Uh, it's going to be easy because it's so smooth and so clear. Then you have a real example of a patient in the materials. You can see a, a, um, a real example of a patient in the materials that have a meningioma. And I encourage you to try to decide the, the superior longitudinal fascicle with the, this method. You will see a surprise. So you will see basically that the meningioma is pushing the, the thrust that you are trying to, to di dissect. Um, and yeah, just that. Sorry, we, we could not do it with the virtual machine. So to use this approach, you need a, you need a prior uh, anatomical knowledge. So you can also use a, a, a series of atlases that are available online. One that is very common is the one of Catani and, and, and Thibault. And James will be talking about the, that later. And also in the materials, you can find a, a supplementary materials of a paper by my Michel Thibault, in which is uh, very uh, nicely explained how can you do it and what kind of hard wires you can draw to, to find the, the major wet mother tracks. So thank you. <laughs>